All right, I'll go ahead and uh, start with, um, we're gonna do a little section on uh, static greens function. So this is gonna involve, first of all, just a simple forward simulation where we're going to simulate a slow slip event. Um, things we're gonna learn, we're, so we're gonna figure out how to do that. We're gonna use something called a simple grid database. Uh, and this is actually a pretty useful thing, uh, not just for fault slip, it's actually even more useful if you're dealing with something like a seismic velocity model. So if you have it uniformly sampled in some, okay, I don't talk that loud, um, yeah. So uh, simple grid DB is uh, good if you have um, something that's uh, sampled regularly uh, so that what you can do is specify a regular sampling in X, Y, and Z. So what that does, it means that your searches are just um, one uh, sequence of 1D searches rather than uh, having to search through a whole 3D volume or something like that. So we're gonna talk about that. We're also gonna talk about a temporal database, which is how we specify our time variation of the slip amplitude. Uh, we're also going to talk about um, outputting the solution at a set of points rather than over the entire grid or along the ground surface. So Pilot will do the interpolation to a set of points that you specify. So this, for example, uh, in our, um, problem today, this will be representing uh, GPS stations. Um, we're also gonna look at uh, post-processing the output a little bit using H5Pi. We're also going to uh, generate some synthetic data from our forward model uh, with some, with where you tell it how much noise to add. Uh, then we're going to generate uh, Green's functions for this problem. And then finally, we're gonna do a very simple linear inversion using NumPy. And then finally, at the end, we'll um, plot up the inversion results using matplotlib and h5pi. This is, um, as Brad was talking about earlier, you may not have matplotlib, but it's uh, pretty handy. So once you have it, then you can do that. Let's see. So what pilot greens functions are, you, you know what a regular greens functions are, but these, um, are the finite element equivalent. So what we do is we compute impulses at a set of fault vertices. Um, but rather than just a, you know, a delta function, these are the slip dies out linearly, in this case, away from the vertex. Uh, what people do um, for analytical solutions, they use Okada. So rather than slip over a patch, this is slip at a vertex. So your greens functions will look like, um, the slit will look like kind of like a pyramid. Uh, and then you can interpolate the responses to these greens functions at the set of points that you specify. And so what this allows you to do is you can have uh, arbitrarily complex um, rheology and you can also include things like topography, which may be important in some cases. So in addition to the example that I'm showing today, there are at least a couple of other examples that we have. Uh, this first one is a two-dimensional analog of what I'm doing today. So that was one that we had from before, uh, where we do pretty much the same thing, but it's in 2D. This one, I think, is a little better demonstration today, but this is also useful. And then in our 3D hex 8 uh, examples, all we do is just show how to generate the greens functions. We don't do any inversions. Okay, so